Welcome to today's game, everybody. Today we are playing Battle Cry, which is a game around the American Civil War. The battle we will be playing is called the Battle of Pea Ridge, which happened out in Arkansas in 1862. The Confederates had been on a winning streak, and they were trying to finish the Union Army off. We'll see if they can do that in this game. In this scenario, the Confederates are lined up along the back, their infantry all on the line, backed up by cavalry with some cavalry on their left flank. I'm not sure who's playing the Confederates, but I hear he's a real weirdo. I'm Jeff MacArthur, I'm a history writer, and I will be playing the Confederates today. And at the Battle of Pea Ridge, the Confederates were really uh, centralized at the beginning, and they kind of got disordered throughout the battle, so I'm going to try to not do that. I'm going to try to keep them all condensed and hit them as hard as I can, do what the original plan was, take out one part of them, and try to get rid of them before the other one even gets there. The Union side is set up a little more eclectically, with their left side really strong, a gap in the center, and one of each kind of unit on their right. They are played by Tommy. My name's Tommy Clark. I'm a history buff myself, and I've always asked myself, what would General Grant do, other than maybe drink himself into a drunken stupor? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, my plan today is to get, go on the right flank and gather everyone together, kind of get all the forces all at once, and then tack right, right down the middle, right there. All right, so let's get this battle on the road. It looks like Blofeld's cat is helping with the Confederate side, which gives them a little bit of an unfair advantage. Oh, there he goes. The Confederates begin with a cavalry probe, first on their left side, and then it looks like he's thinking about it. Ah, he's gonna move some cavalry up on the right. And he'll bring a commander up in the center. The Federals answer by bringing some of their infantry on the right up into the woods. In fact, they're making a general advance all along their right side. Oh, looks like there's some question as to what he can do. And he's bringing his cavalry all the way up into the face of the Confederate cavalry. And he's causing them to pull back. So they did that. They moved up there. And they're slowly starting to move on that side. Dun, 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 dun. The Confederate cavalry comes back at them. Supported by some infantry. And they take out that cavalry on the far flank. That's one point to the Confederates. That's two points to the Confederates. It looks like they had a commander in there as well, which they have captured. Confederates fire on the right flank and push the infantry off of a hill. They follow it up by getting on the hill themselves. I think that's actually P. Ridge on the bottom of the screen. Put on. That there. And now the federal player that gets to choose what units he'll use this turn. Uh, Boom. Uh, Actually, that has to be a cavalry. Oh, this is... So, oh. Yeah, that's a general right there. Oh, okay. All right, let's do these guys then. This guy, and one of these guys. And the flag? Is the flag anybody? Is it, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do these guys here. He starts with the infantry on his right, picking off some of the Confederates in front of him. He makes a general advance along the right, trying to get revenge for their fallen commander. And the cavalry on their left pushes forward. Well, they're on a hill, though. Yeah, they'll probably want to stay on the hill. They could stay, move one if you want them to. They don't have to move three. And bypasses the infantry to get in behind them. This is an interesting move. He looks like he's going to go up the flank of some of his other infantry. Of course, it's not considered a flank unless somebody is hitting another side of them. And then you go ahead and roll for, and now I can roll for yeah. the attack. Three okay, cool. Dies. Yep. And he does a little bit of damage, taking away 50% of that unit. Uh, got him. Got him. Alright, cool. And then lastly, uh, these guys here. Let's just move them. There. Some of the other infantry moves up onto P Ridge. They are. Four spaces, yeah. Yeah, they can shoot at artillery at the cavalry. And it looks like he's going to stay there, try to hold P Ridge, and fire down on that cavalry. Or the artillery. And he causes them to pull back. So these guys retreat one back, they'll go right here. 
Or you know what? Yeah. Into the clearing or into the woods. They'll create a musical about that. And now he's bringing up some of the cavalry from the rear. That was the difficulty of this battle historically. The Federals were really divided in trying to unite. And now the Confederates are going to fire back on that cavalry harassing their right. And they take out two of them and cause the other one to retreat. And they continue firing down on it. No, he fires back. And he's taken out that infantry unit. The Federal Cavalry Gambit has paid off. The Confederates send out their cavalry to get rid of that pesky Federal Cavalry on their right flank. The remaining Federal Commander gets over there with their artillery. And the Confederates are continuing to push on their right flank and they take out that cavalry. They continue to push forward on Pea Ridge and they take them out. And the artillery fires on Pea Ridge, continuing the carnage and causing the remaining infantry to pull back. The score is now 4-2. to two. This game just might go to the Confederates unless the Federals can answer back with something strong. And their answer is to dig in. They have works along their right and center, right where they're trying to push. The Confederates try to break that line by pushing forward at the works and firing into them. They do a little bit of damage too. Having dug in the units that are there, the Federals are now going to push forward with their reinforcements. And these guys, yep, just one, right? Just one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta kind of get these guys going up here. Alright. Let's get these guys. I don't know. I gotta get moving with these guys. Out here in the boonies. And now the Confederates are going to try to end this game. Where are they going to try to end it? They continue to go after those works. They're slowly picking away at them. They're sending up their cavalry. And they take them out, despite them being dug in. That is five points for the Confederates. They only need one more point to win this game. The Federals really have to pull a miracle out of this. They fire at that cavalry and cause them to pull back. And the Confederates storm the works on their far left and crash over them. They take them down, both pieces that were still there. That is their sixth and final point. The Confederates have won this game. Let's see what the players have to say. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it now, did it? Um, immediately my right flank got just completely annihilated and then so I had to focus on the left side and uh, my left guys were so far back that by the time they even got to the battle, it was over with. Well, that worked pretty well. Uh, as he kind of came at me piecemeal, I jumped on the various units and tried to hammer them as quickly as possible, take them out as fast as I could, and it seemed to work, but uh, it was pretty fun. Well, that was a good game. Thank you all for watching. And if you liked this, be sure to tell your friends, subscribe, comment below, like us on Facebook, talk about us on Twitter, and give us warm and fuzzy thoughts. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming, everybody.